Hello. I'd like you to now practice with significant figures. 1 through 8, I would like you to tell me how many significant figures the number has. And I'd also like you to tell me if, it, the, if the 0 is a leading 0, a captive 0, or a trailing 0. And if there are no zeros, just put no zeros. I'm going to give you the amount of time it takes to sing um, the Big Bang Theory. And please fill in both columns. Now let's see how you did. Uh, the first one, number 747 liters. That has three significant figures. There are no zeros. Number two, 7,007 milligrams. That has four significant figures. Those zeros are called captive zeros. And captive zeros are always significant. They're captive between the sevens. Number three, 0 0.00102 centimeters. That has three significant figures. It has leading zeros and captive zeros. Leading zeros are never significant. Captive are always significant. Number four, 77,000 milliliters. That has two significant figures, and those zeros are trailing zeros. Trailing zeros with no decimal do not are not significant. They do not count. Number five, 22.00 has four significant figures. Those are examples of trailing zeros with a decimal in the number. Number seven, 0 0.00000150 has four significant figures. The last four are significant, the one, the four, the five, and the zero. Why? Well, the first type are leading, and the last is a trailing zero. Trailing zeros count if there's a decimal, and there is. Leading zeros never count. Number eight was tricky, and many of you probably got it wrong. It has an infinite number of significant figures, because 250 spoons is a whole counted number of objects. You, it's assumed that you're not going to have a quarter or a tenth of a spoon when you're counting spoons. You have exactly 250 spoons. You would never use that number to limit an answer on how many significant figures it could have.